morning everybody hope you're all well it's uh yeah it's friday the 2nd of uh, february in the year of our lord 2024 it's uh it's 26 minutes past seven in the morning and i'm off to uh, Triumph in Tamworth uh, on the Donald. This is his first service. He's going to be getting his 600 miles first service today. So uh, we're up bright and early to get in there first and he quickly done it away. So uh, you join me as I uh, work with the commuter traffic. long time since I was out this early on a weekday on the bike this road's like a flipping they're not speed humps it's just badly constructed road this it's bouncing over god knows what there again and again get up and again lousy stretch of road absolutely and again Jesus, I don't know what they surfaced it with, but uh, it's horrendous. But yeah, so up to um, up to uh, I think it's uh, Triumph East Birmingham. It's uh, it's its name, and I'm heading over there. And it's in Tamworth, in Faisley, in Tamworth. So heading up there to get the service done. Hit the service on, and that's the uh, first one done. And then I just need to finish getting the. Uh, I don't need it. Oh uh, yeah, my next service is the Scram, which I got booked in a couple of weeks' time. And uh, then, pretty much services are done for now. So this, uh, for any of you that don't know, is a delightful West Bromwich. I use the term delightful in the pejorative. Now the uh, the video uh, yesterday's video of me on the uh, hunter mooting around Warwickshire. There's, uh, there's uh, quite a few views and comments, positive comments. Thank you for the comments. I sort of enjoyed the chatting about my old uh, my old career and. Uh, Glad you found that enjoyable. The Newton Road and towards Great Bar. It's more than an hour down here. This is Samwell Valley. Got a country park on the left and the right of us. And then over there, got the hills you can see over there at Bar Beacon. Yeah, it's out yesterday. I'm not sure whether you'll see the video or not, but if you have you'll have seen me out yesterday just trying to get an extra 100 miles onto onto the Donald so he's a bit nearer to do his uh, service mileage because I'd uh, I thought I'd done more miles than I actually had but we've remedied that now what a junction this and we're on the Queslet Road this used to be a commute to work for me a few years back when I worked in Litchfield. I see this road a few times a week. Um, 40 is getting light. And slowly but surely the uh, the days are getting longer as we move towards spring. The quickest way probably to have got up to here would be the motorway, but yeah. Who wants to take a bike on the motorway if we can help it? Yeah, no, not cold at all this morning. It's really mild. Crossing the Chester Road now.
and then over to the right is Sutton Park and the golf course. I love the sound of this engine. A few years back, these cottages are here on the left. I think it's here on the left, so I might be just a bit further on. Have a look. That's slightly further on, I think. I think it's down here. He's down here on the uh, on the left hand side over here. I think it's that one with the scaffold up. That was like sealed off. Uh, when I say sealed off, it was almost like it had been put into a, a a bag. All the windows were sealed with plastic. Everything was sealed with plastic. It was hazard tape across the front of it. And I did see people coming in and out of it at times in full sort of hazmat gear. Um, and that was, that was, it was like that for a, for a good few months. So, God knows what had been going on in that house. Um, you would have, the way they were, uh, the way it was sealed and the way the people were dressed that were going in and out of it, it was like something hazardous had gone on, it hazardous chemicals or biological, I don't know what it could have been. But, uh, yeah, it was, uh, it, it was very strange. It wasn't. It was. Yeah, something had gone on in that house that required it to be, I think, uh, dismantled internally and disposed of, and it had to be done uh, with uh, under quite um, onerous um, hazard prevention. And uh, you just wouldn't expect to see something like that in this area. This posh part of. Uh, of uh, the Midlands, in Birmingham, and well, Sutton Colt over at anything to now. Yeah, but I always, uh, always wondered what was going on. Who knows what's going on in the uh, around where you live? What's, uh, what's taking place? What's occurring behind closed doors? Who knows? But this road should take us up towards Sutton Coalfield now. And we're going across to the top of Sutton Park now. The last time I was up this neck of the woods that's when I sort of brought my tracer up to Tamworth Yamaha for them to uh, do the recall that was in uh, 2022 I think 7.54 not doing too bad farming wise <laughs> oh Jesus well why do we accept that there's such god awful roads in this country? Let's not dwell on the negatives, eh? This is alright, isn't it? I don't mind when uh, I'm flowing along like this. So, yeah, I can live with this. Co ops are everywhere. I suppose the hopes that I'm in, you know outwards from the city. Maybe the side don't see that much traffic getting inwards. Ten minutes to eight, I think I'm gonna be a bit early. But to be fair, better to be early than late. Who would like to be early, to be honest. It's always a bit of a bugbear of mine. That it bear being late. Which often means I set off too early and arrive where I need to be too early. I was thinking last night, as I was going to bed, when we start thinking about things when I'm about to go to bed, uh, but I soon forget because I fall asleep quickly. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to fit a uh, taco or rev counter onto me scram and and I'm going to fit spotlights the same spotlights that I fitted on me Hunter and that we're going to fit the Paul's Hunter I'm going to fit them onto the uh, onto the scram and we'll do a video about how to do it 
It's, it's not going to be a Hitchcock's tacko, because there is one, I don't think, for the scram. But it's going to be a Daytona, by the Daytona tacko. Uh, make the mountain bracket. And uh, wire it in myself. And we'll do a video about doing that. And then I've uh, got these uh, spotlights. And they're 35 quid LED. Uh, they've got that strobe, they've got, uh, uh, you can illuminate the ring, the, the periphery of them, you can illuminate the main lamp. 35 quid. Uh, from Amazon. The Chinese, you can tell the Chinese, the wiring is so tiny, it's, it's a pain in the arse. Um, but we're modifying it, or I've modified it on, on mine, and I've modified it, I'm in the process of modifying it in the port. And then wiring them into the, uh, into the scrap. So I'll do that and we'll video that as well. So I'm going to make uh, do those mods, upgrades, whatever you want to call them. This is HS2, this is. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll do that. So mods to come, which will capture for you. So if you're interested in doing them, you can, you can see how they're done. Uh, and I'll leave a list of components that you need to do it and the links um, so watch this space over the next few weeks for another how to a couple of how to videos two minutes past eight not far from Tamworth now four miles back there it's probably about two and a half three miles two and a half more like I said there'd be miles better than the motorway isn't it I think there's a set of lights up here isn't it? say two years since I was last up here it was a set of lights and then we turn right if there's any other how-to videos you potentially like me to have a go at let me know drop me in the comments below I'm not saying I'll do them but I welcome the ideas and if I can I will one of the uh, the mods later in the year I'm going to do to the hunter is to fit the uh, the, the, the cam the tech cam. That's for later in the year. I've got to say the brakes on this are bloody awesome. They are Brembo, so what do you expect? They are exceptionally good. Oh, one of the things with my bikes now, in terms of size-wise, um, I pretty much are I'm not oh, they're about the right size of my height they haven't got any uh, really tall bikes I used to have to not struggle but manage the height of them with my little stubby legs um, so the bikes that I've got now from that perspective from a height perspective they work uh, it worked really well for me. Still can't get me. I'm still tucking on my toes, or best balls of my feet on this one. But it's, it's easily manageable. Especially now as I'm starting to get older and I've got the strength I used to have. Five four zero four. Then turn left onto Atherston Street. Triumph Birmingham East may not be open yet when you arrive. Turn left onto Atherston Street. B five four zero four. In a quarter of a mile, at the roundabout, continue straight onto Watling Street. B five four zero four. Well, there we go. Nowhere near Yamaha's place. <laughs> A bit further on. It's not cold at all today. Not cold at all. Turn right, then turn left. Turn right, then. Oh, there it is. Your destination is on the right.
And here we are. Right. So we're all serviced up now. We're all serviced up and we're on the way back home. 178 pounds, something like that. Which I think is pretty reasonable to be fair for a triumph service. And uh, yeah, pleased with that. So now we're ready now. With a fully serviced, fully first serviced speed twin. And I'll do in a second. I'm going to pull over and we're going to have a chat with Paul. Answer. Hello. Hello, mate. Sorry, I thought I had a vision of you fumbling with your fingers there. Which one to press? No, I didn't. I just said answer and it answered. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, fair play. Good, very good. Very okay, that's good. good. I'll tell you what, you're as, clear, you're as clear as if you were in a room together. <clears throat> Well, this is the difference. I can't hear no wind, yep. noise, and nothing off you. So you could just be in an office talking to me as you normally do. And I've got my visor fully open. You're on a virtual ride with me. You're having to work because you're self I'm working. And you can't toss it off yep. like I can. And, uh, and I'm flipping, uh, what am I doing? I've got a three foot metal rod with a four inch brush on the end, poking it in black duck's back through a hedge that's three foot deep, trying not to get covered in black stain. Why I'm doing this uh, boundary fence at this place I do my regular work at. So it's not carpentry in a sense, but it's work, it's work. at the end of the day. So I don't mind because I'm in the middle of Ombersley in Worcester and it's beautiful. It's good, honest so to goodness yeah. work. So we're, yes. all, we're all serviced up now, lovely. Yes, they're all good. And no all, problems with it? Nothing at all. Well, you wouldn't expect them to be, would you? No, well, not really, no, with a triumph. Um, what, um, what you brought? I ain't bought nothing. <laughs> oh, I thought you said you'd brought then, sorry, when you said that, you went off, yeah. No, I ain't bought nothing. Cool, That's all uh, good. It's not like me to not be in a bike shop and not buy something, but... Uh, is, it, is it nice in there, because I haven't been in for ages? It's like, uh, it's not much different to street bike, to be honest. Ah, so, so is it downstairs or up the Triumph? The Triumph is downstairs, the Honda's upstairs. The uh, the big Tigers, the uh, the fully kitted ones. The new ones, yeah. yeah. 17, 18,000 quid, Jesus, well... I know, then it's a lot of money, mate. This is where I think there's a change in the wind with people buying smaller capacity bikes. And this is where I think once uh, people got the confidence with this, this Chinese stuff and Italian Benelli things and everything like that, mate, I think there'll be a yeah. shift in the market because it's just making sure you can get all the bits. You can't, it's just becoming unaffordable, isn't it? It certainly is. Really? It it's is. a lot of money. That is a lot of money. I thought that was a bloody... I get a lot of bikes, but a lot of money. <laughs> I know, but you still, it's another one, you pour all that money in that pot, okay, like us, we could all go and buy that, I could have brought that XD Avo, 20 grand, yeah. you got one bike, yeah. it's harder to get rid of, you got one bike, we've got, i got three, you've got four bikes, Yeah. so we have got a variety of bikes that do us what we want, maybe they've all cost more than that, but we've still got a, the ability to, yeah, swap a change of... what, what, We've got mini bike shops at home. Yeah. <laughs> mini With a variety shops. of different things. Mini bike shops. That's what we got. Because we can go on. I want an Enfield day. I'll go on the Hunter. Oh, I want to be really civilised and righteous. I'm going to go on my V-Strom 1050. Or I want to be a bit of a, a German hooligan. <laughs> and I'll go on my BMW a Scrambler. That's it. As you can do the same. You could be a hooligan on your CCM. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so you've got the variety. So next, I'd rather do that, I think, and have one. Yeah. It's a lot of money to spend, that is in it. For what unless you're doing mega miles, which we doubt do that type of riding, it's just Yeah. The only reason the big ones are good, I think, sometimes is if you got two and you've got your missus on the back. Yeah, yeah. Because then, or your partner rather, you, you have the ability then to carry the load better. But when you're single riding, you don't need that size bike because you you, you, you can get the same experience off a it's probably similar capacity, but you don't need that bulk unless you're doing proper touring two up. Yeah, absolutely. So there you are. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Interesting. There you go. Our, uh, yeah, so. our bike riding, uh, our uh, perceptions of what bikes you should have, you, you might want to have in the in the modern world. Yes, <laughs> that's it in it. Different variety. Buy, spend as much, but have more bikes. So yeah. if you can, if you're going to spend twenty grand, have two or three. Yeah. 
We don't advocate Enfields, but you can get a couple of bikes for Enfields and you can still buy another bike. Yeah. Because that's what you can do for the money and you'll still have as much pleasure on a variety as we'll want because people get fed up on one. Yeah. You need the variety. That's it. Today, mate, you've been very fortunate. I know. It's been flipping good, you know. I mean, okay, you've got the bikes a bit dirty, but you haven't had rain or real cold weather no, to contend no. with. Well, carry on so like that's this. been really good. Well, carry on like this, you'll have to call me all your motorcyclists too. Huh? You will actually, won't you? Yeah, you will yeah. actually, flipping neck. Yeah, you will. Okay, you, you, just you that rides your bike all year round now, mate. <laughs> yeah, you're not going to... I was saying that to Kevin, our mate, earlier, and saying that you've done... Everybody's done quite a few miles. Yeah. Going out. Yeah, going out, really, on uh, the way the weather's been. And you've all done... So everybody's done quite well, as normally you don't. Yeah. Um, and the weather's been kind, because this time last year, you was running the scramming. Yeah. And honest, the weather was a bit rubbish. To be honest, I want to try and ride as much as I can all year round now because uh, yeah. you, you, as I say, you get match fit, you get you reach a level of fitness. And the trouble is, we have yeah. to get that level of fitness uh, in starting about March and April. Where if you keep, if you yeah. get it all the time, uh, you don't bother me. I mean, don't get me because of what I do. Really, yeah, yeah. I can just get on it. But yeah. I mean, it don't bother me. But um, it does me. understand if you don't, it does you. But you, you're more right. You're up to speed, yeah. it, really. Carpenters for the rich and famous. <laughs> <laughs> well, famous, it's about, about flipping rich. <laughs> you work for rich and famous, yeah. That's okay. it. That's um, the one chap, we worked at the, um, when I was direct, he worked at this house in Ramano, the gap got this big house. But he got a downstairs toilet that always blocked up. Yeah. Anyway, the French polisher went the one day, so I've got to get to the loo. And I said, yeah, carry on. Oh, no. And, um, he went to the toilet, and of course what it was, there wasn't much fall on the drains, because it was outside, just out the back, but there was no fall on it. Yeah. Of course he's got this white carpet on and everything, he went to the loo, flushed it, and oh. it just kept coming up and up and up. Oh no. And he was like, oh my god, he don't know what to do, and he'd done it again, and he'd come out of the basin, out of the bowel. Oh no. And he went, uh, he went, he went back out to the missus, and he went, so remember, so sorry, he says, uh, you know, the toilet, he went, uh, I says, uh, oh, it's all right, it's always happening. So he walked out, and as he disappeared, I uh, opened the door and went, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I always remember that. I was like, oh, dear. What a blessing. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. The yeah. things you remember, how oh, that happened. Oh. That was up Raman Road, one of the big houses up there, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. Wouldn't, you'd never want to go back there again, would you? It's, uh, <sighs> Terrible. You'd want the, wor the world to, uh, the, the world, I... the floor to open up and swallow you and never go back again. This will make you laugh. I, uh, the dog sleeps downstairs now. She's sleeping in our room, but she sleeps downstairs now. And, yeah. Uh, I woke up in the middle of the night, and I thought, uh, I thought somebody's in the room. You know, when you, you suddenly wake up, I thought somebody's in the room. And uh, I, I went back to sleep, thought nothing of it. And then the missus in the morning says, uh, uh, you left the door open, so uh, to, the, uh, to the kitchen last night. And I'm going, well, I'll tell you what, I had a dream, and I woke up and I thought somebody was in the room. And it says, because uh, you left the door open, it was probably the dog. The dog had probably come in. I had a look round and then Looks gone back like, again. Yeah. I goes, well, it's all right, because oh, when I woke really? up, I thought, if you're nearest to the door, so if anybody's going to be murdered, it'll be you. And I went back to sleep. Yeah, that's it, that's it. I said, I'll take you first, brilliant. That's it. I'll get under me, me bulletproof uh, quilt cover to save me. Yeah, and I'll murder you first. Yeah. I'm going to you first. <laughs> <laughs> what are you up to now today when you finish? Uh, I'm going to finish uh, the uh, preparing your lights, yes. extending the wires and making the looms, so it's just a case of <sighs> put them on and push fit them all to get them working. Uh, well. And then, oh, I don't know what I'm doing then, to be honest. No. So, um, how old is the Lions Explorer? You say 80 or 70s? He's in his late 70s, I believe. Right, 70s, fair play to him. Yeah. Here's one for you. This, this, is what, this is what they have to do a uh, HTR on the Hunter. Yeah. Because I was watching, I knew it was. It's aerial years ago, because was a, on uh, Bangus for Cash of the Night, there's a 91 year old guy, and he ended up uh, selling his old bikes and keeping his one. But it was a Hunter, aerial, an yeah. aerial Hunter, so I wonder if that's why they use that. Well, I can't use the word Hunter, sure. as everybody else, you can, but well, you can't because it's copyright. With I'm a, sure there's a copyright on it or something. Well, it's, you know, aerials have got, the, obviously, aerial company have got the name because they obviously produce them aerial bikes. Yeah. So there must be some copyright thing on it that says that they can't use that name, so they have to abbreviate it. Yeah. 
that'll be what it is. All right, then. See how many more. Oh, take care. Thank right. you for chatting. I shall catch you later. And uh, I'll catch you later, matey. And uh, seen the thing preview thing for Saturday night come up. Yeah. Um, Kevin sent me a Mark Pulling thing about. Um, I think he's riding the new Triumph yeah. 400. I think. He is, yeah. So I'll have a now. I'll have a listen to that rather than see. Listen to that. Good. All right, so I'll turn you back, mate. See you later. Catch you later. Cheers, Dave. Bye. Thanks, mate. Bye. 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 I'll turn you off. Bye. <laughs> right. So uh, I enjoyed that little uh, visit for the service. Um, really back. Not far from home now. So uh, enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. And uh, I'll be back again probably ready soon if the weather carries on like it's doing ready uh, and soon for another video so thanks for watching take care of yourselves and surround me see you later